question 8. So neotim is an artificial sweetener added to some fruit and the figure 8.1 is a structure. Um, first, uh, state the numbers of chiral carbon in this molecule. Uh, very easy. So um, if you check, uh, so all these carbons uh, is not chiral carbon. CH3, CH3, CH3. Right, this carbon with three same group, nope. CH2, nope, nope. So the chiral carbon uh, is uh, this one, right? So uh, this carbon is has one hydrogen, uh, one, two, three groups. So uh, this is a chiral carbon, uh, and this carbon also uh, is bonded with one hydrogen, one, two, three, four groups. So this is chiral carbon. So the rest are not chiral carbon. So total chiral carbon in this uh, your team is um, uh, two. Um, so these uh, molecules is ha contains the arrhenic uh, functional group. Uh, identify all the others uh, functional group in this uh, your team. Um, it's quite uh, easy. Uh, so other than the this arrhenic, uh, so it has ester this one, and amide this one. Uh, this is a secondary amine, and this is a carboxyl, uh, or it can be carboxylic acid. So just list out all of this. Part B, neotene reacts with uh, an excess of hot sodium hydroxide to form three organic uh, products. State the two types of reaction occur uh, when this neotene reacts with hot uh, sodium hydroxide. Um, first, um, when we use the sodium hydroxide, uh, the ester group will undergo hydrolysis, this one. And of course, A might also will undergo hydrolysis. So another one uh, you have to uh, understand because uh, this is a strong base and strong base of course it will react with the carboxylic acid uh, sorry uh, this uh, carboxylic acid group All right okay therefore uh, it will be two types of reaction uh, this is a hydrolysis okay for the amide and ester and the uh, uh, acid base reactions between the carboxylic acid and the sodium hydroxide Okay, now um, part two, draw the structures of the three organic uh, products formed from the reactions when this aniotin reacts with excess um, hot sodium hydroxide. Uh, this one you have to be careful because it's uh, uh, excess of uh, sodium hydroxide means uh, any of the acid group will further react with the sodium hydroxide. Okay, so uh, let's figure out the initial products after the hydrolysis. Okay, so as, as I told you just now, uh, these uh, will undergo hydrolysis and acid base. Okay, if hydrolysis happen, then it will undergo bond break here, this one, and uh, this one. So uh, this part, okay, will form the methano. The O will get H, and this uh, carbonyl will get OH, right, to form the carboxylic acid here. And this one also, the after amide bond break. So this nitrogen will get H, and this carbonyl will get OH. Okay, so therefore it will form this structure, structure with COOH group and uh, amine. And this COOH will further react with sodium hydroxide from the uh, sodium carboxylate, uh, means that from the salt. Okay, and this part, uh, this part is a larger one. So after the S, the the uh, the amide bond break, so you form this carboxylic acid, okay, together with this uh, this secondary amine and this alkyl group, and uh, please remember here, uh, there is uh, another COOH, which will react with the sodium hydroxide. It's an acid base reaction to form two salts here. Okay, means uh, this COOH and this COOH will react with sodium hydroxide, and uh, eventually it will form all these products. Right. So the two salts here. And uh, this one, it will form another salt. And of course, uh, the, the other product is a methanol, right? Okay, so that's all for this question. Uh, it's quite easy. Um, thank you.